Hello everyone and welcome to our final wrap up from Pwn to Own Toronto 2022. I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at the Zero Day Initiative. And with me is Brian Gorenz, who is the Head of ZDI and our Vice President of Threat Intelligence. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Yeah. Well, we are at day four. We are finished. It has been an amazing event. What did you think? Uh, it was great. I mean, large number of ventures at the contest, a lot of really good research coming in. We had a lot of fun. A lot of people hung out here in the Toronto office uh, and got to chat with them a lot. So it was a great event all around. Uh, let's talk about highlights. Day one, first one, uh, pretty much out of the shoot, Netitude comes out and plays Super Mario on the theme of their printer, right? Yeah. I think I think I think it actually might have been Horizon, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> the printer didn't have a speaker itself, but what they did is they changed the frequency of the beat to make it be higher or lower. They said it took them longer to get the frequencies right for the song than it did yes, for the right edge yes, plate. exactly. That was pretty amazing. Uh, and then we had uh, two Samsung Galaxy X plates on that day, Star Labs and Chim, and I think Star Labs, they gave us our first Rick Roll, but not our last one. Yeah, Rick Roll's popular this year. Uh, moving on to day two, we saw even more great research. Uh, let's see, bug scale hit uh, one of the Soho smash ups. That was pretty cool. Yeah, very fun. Moving on to day three, especially at the end of the day, I want to bring up that one uh, because that's probably my favorite for style was the Mario hack. My favorite for substance was pen test labs doing the uh, Samsung phone in 55 seconds. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Those guys do great work, as always. Uh, all you had to do is click the link, browse to a website. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Samsung owned uh, pretty quickly, pretty reliably too. Uh, and then today, more printers and routers. We had more printers and routers. I think at one point we owned every Netgear Rax 30 router in Toronto. Yeah, absolutely. Not only did we uh, solve, solve a lot of bugs, but we actually called it, caused it an out service condition here in Toronto on that specific router. You cannot buy it anymore. It's an amazing, we started off the event, uh, registration was over 80 contestants. Uh, but then Netgear patched right at the end. And Woo! They knocked out quite a few. Caused a lot of drama. So we had uh, 63 unique bugs overall, which considering how many hours we were doing it, equates to a little more than a zero day an hour, mm. which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's like a lot it. of zero days. Uh, and of course, all of those zero days have gone to the vendor now, and they have 90 days to patch. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's uh, get some fixes out there. So you are holding the Master of Pwn jacket. Uh, it's supposed to keep everything very warm. And there's definitely times I wish I'd had this walking around the city because I'm from Tennessee and I'm not used to it being cold. We see the Master of Pwn trophy and really that's one of the big things of the contest is who's the overall winner? And the overall winner is... DevCore. DevCore, congratulations to DevCore. They had 18 and a half points, which is two points higher than their closest competitor, Viatel, and then two points higher, and then another point higher, excuse me, than NCC Labs. It really came down to the random draw because all really three did. teams brought a lot of amazing research. In fact, we spent $989,750. Close to a million. Close to a million. Is that in our budget? Hey, special thanks to our co-sponsors, Google and Synology. Uh, their help has been invaluable. Special thanks to the vendors who were here getting the bugs as, the, uh, as they were being reported. Couldn't do this without our competitors. They're fantastic. Yep. We had such a fantastic group this year, uh, just from around the world. So many varying people, and they were absolutely wonderful. And then uh, thanks to the ZDI team and to yeah. our bosses who let us do this amazing, amazing contest three times a year. What's that you say? Three times? That's right. And two months from now, we will be on the sunnier, uh, warmer climates of South Beach, Miami, doing Pwn to Own Miami, where we take a look at industrial control systems and SCADA products. A few months after that, we'll be back in Vancouver 
for the original home to own Vancouver. Brian, any last words from the contest? No, it was a lot of fun. Glad everybody came out. You know, it's, it's always great to see all the research from around the world. You know, it, it's truly humbling to have everybody come in here and, and work with us, and uh, we're, we're excited to have it, and you know, looking forward to Miami. Woo! So one last time, this is Dustin Child signing off from Pondo, Toronto, 2022. And Brian signing off as well. <laughs>